The Green Pencil Award aims to promote literacy, in particular reading and creative writing. It also, of course, helps raise awareness and encourages learning about the important environmental issues facing us all. Now, I haven't seen all the entries. As Ron mentioned, there were over 1,100. But our organisers tell me that the overall standard was extremely high. Again, it just improves every year, and it made the judging process a very t hard task indeed. Right, in our next section, we have two schools, St Francis RC Primary and Cargillfield, have kindly agreed to contribute to the evening with poetry readings by their pupils. So I'm delighted to welcome Anthony McCallum from St Francis and Sasha McQuaker from Cargillfield, who are going to read their own award-winning poems from the P45 category. Can you please welcome Anthony and Sasha? We'll start with Anthony, I think. The old oak tree stands in the forest, growing tall and straight. Its roots need food and water to grow and sunshine to make it rise. The old oak stands in the forest, crinkly bark covering its trunk. People are coming to cut it down. It's getting too old and wide. The tree says, please don't cut me down. I'm begging. Please don't do it. I'm a decent tree. I help you breathe. Without me, you would die. I grew many years ago from an acorn that fell on the ground. I help the insects, birds and animals, giving them food and a home. I have leaves that change colour in autumn, making beautiful patterns. They fall to the ground like a carpet. Bare branches now you see. Please, so please don't send the chainsaw to cut me down. To die, leave me here. I'm happy here. I have more growing to do. But the people didn't listen. They came and cut him down. But another oak tree is growing from an acorn that fell to the ground. Thank you. Really good. Thank you, Anthony. That's fantastic. Wow, that was a great poem. Well done, Anthony. Really good. <laughs> um, that was really beautiful. Thank you. Um, now we have Sasha McQuaker. And Sasha's from Cargillfield Primary. The Far Away Tree. The old droopy tree stands in the corner of the forest. He is an old guardian to me, standing between me and the devil. He smells like bluebells, but he is about 300 years old. He is brown like chocolates and grey like the night sky. He stands proud and tall. If you listen carefully, you will hear his croaky voice like a frog. His leaves droop over me so I can shelter under them. His leaves rustle like paper. He has white speckles all over him. He is about 300 feet tall, like a mountain. He tastes of sweet grass. We are going to present the prizes to the winners and highly commended entries in the P45 category. So when your name's announced, could I ask you to please come to the stage and collect your prize bag and certificate. The photographer will take pictures as they're handed to you, so if you can just wait a little while before you get back to your seat, um, Ron and I will, will sort of share the duties and, and hand them over. So we'll start with Dare Ashe from Leith Primary for Woodpecker. Where's Dare? Francesca Blaine, who is from Blackhall Primary and Forest Found on Moon. And next we have Luke Imry from Hermitage Park Primary for Winter Trees. Daniel Kleinian from Fox Covert Primary, and that's for the Emergent Tree. Now we have Sasha McQuaker from Cargofield School for the Faraway Tree. 
And then, of course, we have Anthony McCallum from St. Francis R.C. Primary, The Oak Tree. Iskra Hearn from Leith Primary, Forest Floor. Now we come to the highly commended category, and we have here Flossie Barlas from Cargofield School for Green Giant. Christina Groman from Edinburgh Steiner School for Blossoms of Spring. And last in the P45 category, we have Alexander Marriott at uh, Tower Bank Primary for The Tree. Next part of the evening ceremony, I'm delighted to welcome two more young readers. This is for the P67 readings. Juliet Pinto from Sight Hill Primary and Amy McInnes from Craig and Tinney Primary, who are going to read their award-winning poems. Is this Juliet? Yes, hello Juliet, right. Nature's two guardians. In the deepest part of the woodlands, a man is perched up in a tree. His name is a green man, one of nature's guardians. Beside him sits a woman wearing a golden green robe, Mother Nature, the green man's wife. Together they protect the trees, living animals too, as they care for living trees, especially the ones with animal homes. When men with chainsaws emerge, Mother Nature uses her magic to stop the machines working. Or a forest fire start burning the land, the green man makes rain shower down. If we recycle paper, water and other materials, we would be helping this, the forest saviors. I have now told the tale of my eco-friends. Pass on the message to save, recycle and mend. It will protect the planet and the trees and me and you. Thank you, Julia. It's lovely. Thank you very much, Juliet. And now we have uh, Amy McInnes from Craig and Tinney Primary. My tree. My tree, home to seven birds, old, huge, smooth, as tall as a giraffe, its branches high up like claws reaching up. I feel like it's going to lift me up into the air like I was flying. My tree, I will never forget it, by Amy McInnes. Now we're going to present the prizes to the winners and highly commended entries in the P67 category. So when your name's announced, again, please come forward to the stage and collect your prizes and certificate, and we'll take some pictures at the same time. So we'll start off with Amelia Bucknell from Cargofield School for Woodlands. <laughs> Fergus Duncan from Buckstone Primary, I Hear the Trees. And next, Juliet Pinto, Site Hill Primary, Nature's Two Guardians. And Chloe Louise Jack, Carrick Now Primary, Forests and Wood. And Amy McInnes, Craig and Tinney Primary, My Tree. And Imogen Page from St. Margaret's RC Primary, A Sapling Story. We move on to our highly commended. We have Jasmine Dorr from Sheen's Primary, The Dance. Kate Miller from Dean Park Primary for Three Memories. And Alice Prince Tape, Trinity Primary, Love in Nature. There's been, as we've heard, uh, 1,100, in fact, more than 1,100 entries, but I've got the honour, and I really do feel it an honour, to give the overall prize. And I'm going to call on Owen, first of all, Owen Richards, to come up and to help me to hand over the prize to the winner. Owen Richards, who was last, you were last year's winner? Yeah. That's right. I'll let you just go around there. And Owen's from St Mary's Primary. Now, I won't keep you any longer in suspense because I know that this has been a big secret and you won't be getting your brochures till afterwards, but once you get the brochure, you'll be able to read all the poems, you'll read how great they are, and you'll really be able to appreciate the winning poem. The winning poem is called The Last 
Christmas tree. And it's written by James McNabb from Cargill Field School. A big